Microsoft SharePoint and why do you need it? Well, that is what this video is about. But first, my name is Paul Kaisers. I'm a Microsoft MVP uh, specialized in uh, Microsoft Teams, SharePoint and Copilot. Um, and I own a company called KB Works. If you want to work with me, uh, just go to KB Works and uh, or down below, there will be a link to make an appointment with me. Um, yes, back to the video. What's SharePoint? Um, well, SharePoint is actually a lot of things together. Uh, SharePoint is a place where you can store your documents. SharePoint is a place where you can share your news. Uh, SharePoint is a place to create your intranet. So it's quite a lot. So let's just go into detail, just go into a few things uh, to show you here. So when we start, uh, we go to this, uh, this intranet. And as you can see, uh, in this case, it's just a demo uh, with some pictures in there, some news is in there, um, a video is in there. <laughs> Um, and it's got some more things in here. It's loading. I don't know why, but um, you can have your calendar here. You can see your co-workers here. So it's quite interesting how this works. And um, this is just one of the things. So here you see um, uh, some things that are important for the internet. So this internet can be shared across with uh, Microsoft Teams. So I will show you that. Uh, let's go into there. So here I have an example of the internet showing in uh, Microsoft Teams. You can do that with Viva Connections, uh, which is an app uh, within uh, the Microsoft 365 store. Uh, let's go back to the, to the internet. Um, what you see here is just a plain internet. And when you start using a Microsoft uh, SharePoint, you will have the ability to create a new site. And here you will have the possibility to create a communication site. That's the site I just showed you, or a team site. If I create a team site, uh, let's call it demo video and uh, private, I can set it up as private or public. This is basically the same uh, way you set up a uh, Microsoft team, but I'm not, go I'm going to do it right away from um, SharePoint, finish it. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my uh, channel because the more people like and subscribe, uh, the more videos I can make and it, I can make it more valuable as well. So here we have our team site. This is a, a site where we can collaborate together. So here you see I can already uh, uh, select a template. So I'm going to select later. And um, what I can do is I can put some news of my project here. Uh, I can uh, add some quick links, add some documents. So here's this place where I can store my files. My files which are connected, collaborated with people uh, in my team. So not only me, but multiple people. So if we go here, we can see that we have a documents library. And in this documents library, we can create new documents from within the menu, but we can also drag and drop uh, um, documents. So for example, uh, let me check. I will drop a document in here. It will start uploading and it's directly there. So that's one thing you can do. Um, now you see here already is shared with us. That are documents that are shared with my team, for example. In this case, there's nothing, but this all works together. Now you, at the bottom, as long as you create the site from within SharePoint, you will have this uh, notification that you can add a Microsoft team. Because most of the SharePoint sites 
are uh, eventually uh, connected to a project. Some not, because they have a different uh, permission, but that uh, um, depends on your situation. So you would have to look into that. Now, if we go back to teams, we have a team here. And uh, in this team, I'm just having a, let's just pick the above one. So here are some uh, files in the files tab. And this is basically on the back end, this is also SharePoint. So you also see here that if you click on the three dots, you can open in SharePoint and it will open the document library in SharePoint for this specific site. This means that everybody who is member of the team can um, edit documents in the SharePoint site as well. This is the base of SharePoint. So if you want to know more about uh, new videos or other videos, uh, I can recommend this video. And um, yeah, see you next time.